The cataract is a clouding of the natural lens in the eye. And it's something that happens to all of us as we age. And at some point that clouding gets so severe that it gives us trouble seeing. And cataract surgery really refers to a uh, replacement of that lens. So the natural clouded lens is removed and that lens is replaced with an artificial one. At the time of implantation, we have uh, several choices of lenses uh, to put in at that time. Traditionally, we put in what we call a monofocal lens. And as the name implies, a monofocal lens allows you to see at one focal plane. Usually, we'll choose to put that focal plane at infinity so a patient can see very well at distance without any glasses. However, they will have trouble reading, and that can be fixed with reading glasses. A newer type of lens has recently uh, come out, and we call that a multifo multifocal lens. Multifocal lenses, as the name implies, allows you to have different focal points. And this allows patients to see not only at distance, but also at near, and greatly reduces the patient's dependence on spectacles. Pa patients who uh, desire to reduce their dependence on spectacles would greatly benefit from one of these multifocal lenses. However, not all patients are candidates for this type of a lens, and that really is a decision that's up to the implanting surgeon. The time necessary to perform cataract surgery with either a multifocal lens or a monofocal lens is approximately the same. The recovery time for either lens is the same. There really is no difference. A toric lens is another type of advanced technology lens that is used to correct astigmatism. Astigmatism is a condition that refers to the fact that a patient's cornea may be irregularly shaped. The easiest way to think about this is to imagine the cornea being shaped more like a football than a basketball. If a patient has corneal astigmatism, they will still need to wear uh, spectacles after the surgery to obtain their clearest vision. With a toric lens, the astigmatism can be corrected intraocularly and this will greatly reduce, if not eliminate, the need for spectacles.